Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to send props to your native page theme and using the props you can make your background color or some styles dynamic. So here this is a icon button. As you can see this is right now disabled because as you can see the option that I have given, the condition that I have given here is disabled equal to text dot length is exactly equal to zero. So right now it's zero but still uh, the green color is coming so we don't want that right so uh, for that we are going to add this to our theme like this uh, first uh, let us put the gradient name let's uh, say uh, set location um, button okay set location button and this will be the key as you can see if i save this then the color is gone and it's uh, hardly visible right now uh, uh, and uh, let's go to the let's go here and uh, let's create an icon button component and inside this we are going to create variance and inside the variance it will be our uh, the name would be set location the same name that we have set the variant to so it is set location uh, button and we are going to use the props here and return an object so the bg will be similarly this color only when So here we will get the props, uh, we are getting the props, this props as you can see we have already sent the props here, now we can easily get the props here using the variant. So now bg if disabled then let's take another color say black dot 400. Of course, you need to put this inside double quotation and we'll save this. Okay, we'll save this as you can see. Uh, right now, it is disabled, but as I start writing something and it gets enabled, as you can see, so it's completely working in this way. You can send any kind of props here uh, and uh, based on the props you can uh, do some different styles or uh, do some different color similarly for pressable also as you can see i have created a model here if you press this model then it will come up if you close the model then it will go uh, so it's a simple model just to show you the example i've created the variant show model here and this are the styles are being loaded from here so similarly for this principal component let's say you want it to be of different color based on some condition or based on something so let's say that condition is uh, uh, is colored uh, blue equal to blue okay let's just send this one to the variant show model okay we have already created this variant here we just need to Accept the. We're just going to accept the prop right now. This colored. Let's just copy this one from here. This colored blue. So based on this condition, we'll render different color. Is colored blue, and then we're going to return the object here. And this is it. And if is colored blue. blue then we are going to show the color blue otherwise let's show the color amber amber dot 400 let's show this color so right now it's blue that's why it's showing blue now if it changes to say amber or anything uh, it changes to amber suppose red or anything so based on so you can send such kind of props to your variant and based on that it will you can set different styles suppose 
you want the margin to margin to change based on this one so is color blue same if you want to use the same one so if margin is if is color blue then uh, 6 otherwise let's do 10 then based on that one as you can see the margin increased so it like this using the props by sending the props you can change the styles based on whatever requirement you have similarly um, for button also let's say you want to work on this button okay this is the model that we are showing uh, here this is the model and suppose you want to change the button uh, you want to make it disabled okay disabled equal to true here yeah, it's true now uh, based on the current options uh, the current function it should close when you press the save button but as you can see it's not closing and we are not able to understand also why it's not closing because we seem to understand that it should work because it's still colored blue so uh, we are not able to really tell the user that it's disabled right now so for that we create we usually create a variant and the variant name let's set it to model save button and we'll copy this one and save here this is disabled right now okay this is disabled right now and we have set the variant so the color is gone color is gone so now we need to add that variant also okay so we are going to add the variant here this variant will be added here and we have a condition disabled and based on the disability we are going to use this let's say bg similarly like earlier if it's disabled then let's say um red red color something red red dot 500 just a color otherwise primary dot 300 okay so this is the turning of it that okay so this is how it should work now let's see if it works as you can see it's showing red right now and if we change this one to uh, false let's say we set it to false now as you can see it changed to a correct way and uh, now we can close the model so as you can see in this way you can send any um, any prop to your uh, theme file and based on that you can change the style so yeah this was a quick recap i uh, hope you learned something from this thank you